Joseph is a powerful person and it all started with the dream. As we learned over the last several weeks, God gave Joseph a dream and that dream was birthed in a very dysfunctional family, which should encourage us all. You cannot fully appreciate his story without understanding his family. And as you read the life of Joseph, it's really interesting when you compare it to the life of Adam. It's almost as if even today with Adam and Eve, how they were faced with that first temptation and they failed. Here you see Joseph today faced with temptation and he succeeds. Here you see Adam and Eve, they fail in a perfect existence. And here Joseph is thriving in a broken world. And that's good news for you and me where the first Adam failed through Christ Jesus, you and I I can succeed regardless of your circumstances around you. You were made to succeed, my friend. That's a good truth. That's a truth to get excited about. The Joseph series has definitely helped me deal with pain from my past. It's impacted me in a really good way. It's just helped me keep my eyes focused on the Lord no matter what situation I am, good or bad. The Joseph series has encouraged me that with God leading and guiding, He gives us everything that we need to get to that level of forgiveness we deserve and we can experience because without God, there's no way that that can happen. Know this, that Joseph understood this, that the pain of dishonoring God was greater than the threat of losing it all. When you push against God and your disappointment, you are pushing against the only source of peace and hope and joy that you may have in your circumstances right now. Don't push against God. Learn from Joseph that God was his utter reliance. The Joseph series has been extremely remarkable. He went through an emotional toll. He had to deal with forgiveness, abandonment, hate, and those are some of the same issues that I've dealt with in my life. It's just encouraged me to stay strong and steadfast and know that God has a plan for you. God really encouraged me because he does have plans for each and every one of us. And they're not plans to harm us, but to give us hope in a future. Our culture does not define marriage. Our God defined marriage. Our culture does not define family. God himself defined family. Understand, are you anchoring your life to culture or are you anchoring your life to the God who created the universe? Jesus Christ, if you'll trust him, he will turn your heart to your children. He will turn your heart to your wife. He will turn your heart to hard work. He will turn your heart to your best life. The man you don't even know exists, but God knows exists.